sending it out to agents and publishers. Um, I don't know what you know about trying to get books published, but basically send a cover letter with a synopsis, which is a brief description of what goes on in the book, and then you send two or three sample chapters, which are supposed to make people realise what a wonderful book you've written, and then they want to give you lots of money and <laughs> print it and put it on the shelves and sell it. Um, so I didn't have a great deal of luck. Uh, I wrote to a few people. I had some quite nicely worded rejections. And, um, never worked with children and animals. Uh, I had some nicely worded rejections. And then Hodder and Stoughton, who are quite a big publisher, asked to see the whole manuscript, so I sent that off to them, and this was early 2003, and the editor there really liked it, and she tried to get the rest of the company and get the board. Sales and marketing said there was no market for books about the ancient world, 
So I shelved it for a while and then the film Troy came out, if you remember that, that was 2004. And um, also the Olympics were in Greece, so I thought I'd give it another go, sent it out again. And that time an agent wrote back to me and said, actually the market's saturated. <laughs> <laughs> So I just shelved it for good as a, as a thought and started writing a, a kid's book, which I know is quite a few years ago. Um, and then I got an email in, I think, August or September 2006 from the editor of Hodden Stout, who had now left and moved to Pan McMillan, saying, are you still interested in getting the book published? So I said, you know, draw it. So they, they, she took it off to their sales market said, what a fantastic idea, yeah. there's a real market for the ancient world books now. So, <laughs> so that, that, was, um, that was the start of it really, they gave me a contract in November 2006 to write three books, of which this is the first. The second one has been written, um, it's now in the editing stage, and that's going to be, well it's pencilled in to be published next April, and uh, there's a draft. <laughs> Cover. Oh. Obviously a very small book. <laughs> <laughs> and the third one I'm about a quarter of the way through writing at the moment. Um, also it's been translated into six languages at the moment. Um, my well the best of, I'm the, I'm most happy with the fact it's being translated into Greek because it's like selling coal to the Newcastle. <laughs> um, and even even Disney have asked for a copy of the book. No. <laughs> because they've heard I'm a Mickey Mouse author. No, they haven't genuinely asked for a copy, so that's true. So I don't think it's going to be Yeah, so that's the book. I'm going to give you a reading now. I'm not used to doing readings, but uh, you'll have to bear with me. The bit I'm reading 